When your bro calls you up and says, hey, help me come slaughter this yak. Well, you go help him slaughter the yak. This is Zomo. A yak is uh, kind of somewhere between a goat and a cow. They'll eat just about anything. This one had beautiful golden fat. And they gave me the heart. So I thought, maybe I'll confit that. Began by trimming off all the fat and the silver skin using a recipe similar to how one would confit duck legs. I thought I might try to make this heart nice and tender and augment some of the stronger flavors of this organ meat with some strong spices. So after trimming off all the fat and all the connective tissue, we ended up with this. I took this fat and rendered it down for tallow and then went out to gather some herbs and spices. These are juniper berries from just up the road from me. Juniper berries have many medicinal benefits best avoided by those who are pregnant. But to get the flavor out of them, you have to crush them first. So got those crushed, had some rosemary from the neighbors that I had dried. And with those two ingredients and some kosher salt, black pepper, and bay leaf, we are ready to dry cure this heart. So a liberal application of those herbs and spices on a draining rack. And after about four days of dry curing in the refrigerator, it looked like this and had shed a good portion of the liquid. And this allows it to cook up in the fat and be nice and tender. I cubed it up into about two inch pieces. Looks similar to a not fully dried biltong at this point. And then I took all that rendered fat and added the muscle to that. And then we put this on the grill and at about 250 degrees, slow cooked it for about eight hours. This can be done on a stovetop or on the wood stove or in a slow cooker as well. That's the finished product, drained off the tallow. And then took these chunks of heart meat and sliced them about an eighth of an inch thick. It didn't completely disintegrate as a duck leg might in the same preparation, but became very tender and amazingly tasty with the juniper and rosemary flavors. So I sliced it all up and I layered it in this pan. And then to preserve it, I poured the tallow back on top. And this allows me to then freeze this and have it hold up really well in the freezer and then the presentation on this, I heat it up and take that rendered tallow and toast some croutons. I made the sourdough for this occasion and it came out pretty nice. How about that crumb? So I took a couple slices off of the confit of heart and heated it up in the pan and then toasted my slices of sourdough in that fat. Topped it off with some pickled onions and a thyme and apple compote, and it was remarkably tasty. Organ meats are about the most nutritious thing you can eat. That heart has about 380% of your daily recommended value of B12 in every three ounce serving. Good for improving mood, and if you're feeling run down, eating something like that will definitely perk you up. Uh, also a lot of niacin in there which gets blood flowing and a lot of the trace minerals, manganese, copper, iron, things like that. So I highly recommend finding ways to enjoy these things that have kind of fallen out of our regular diet in the modern world. And if you give this recipe a try, be sure to let me know in the comments. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that button and you'll see what we do next.